Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ladell Business. Today we are going to be talking about how to buy cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin without an ID or as we like to call it here in the crypto world without KYC verification. I know cryptocurrency platforms basically ask you to provide some type of documentation, whatever, that is your passport or your national ID or driver's license and in some cases phone verification or proof of address and luckily there are still services out there which do not require a natural ID. This can be preferable for young people who don't necessarily own a passport or haven't gotten one yet or there might be some pay aid requirement that basically buy or participate on some any of these exchanges. So this can be a great option for different people out there. So we're going to be going through some five different services out there which are going to be providing these possibilities for us. At the end of this video, I'll give you a bonus offer which is the easiest way to buy any people in line right now. So stay with me to the end. So let's kind of get started with the first one in our list which is called Hordu.com, which is a peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin trading platform that doesn't hold funds in some cases, a uh, platform like Passful or for instance, which is a very popular one that does require KYC and it also holds your Bitcoin basically inside the actual platform instead of holding it in your own wallet. So this is basically using a technology that allows you to kind of have a more secure way to hold your own funds on the platform and there are many different possibilities on the platform to basically buy and sell bitcoins multiple different providers here with everybody having their own rating so once the trade is concluded there is obviously a form of rating to be given usually and this is obviously something you should always look at when you're going to be choosing and what you're going to be trading with also there are different payment methods which can be different from cryptocurrencies uh from um, bank accounts, bank transfers, the paper and many more. We can actually take a look at these different forms of payment methods here and you can choose the location. As far as I know, there are no blacklisted countries here. Some of these websites which I'm going to be providing here today may have region blocks and there is obviously different types of rates for different types of transfers. Usually these types of services can be a bit more expensive depending where you come from and what type of service you're going to be using versus going through a natural exchange which is going to be requiring that ID in order to proceed and this one obviously doesn't have perhaps as many different offers here and compared to a lot of the other ones that are actually in this space as you can see there is not really as many vendors here. Well, actually, when you change the filters, it does expand into so don't mind that. And there are things like Amazon gift cards, bank accounts, in person, even, and you know, there are lots of local different types of payment processors out there. And many of these are usually listed on the multitude of these websites. There's also a bounty program and affiliate program also available for those who want to get people like their friends involved. And they also offer a lending services as well, which is something that maybe certain people want to perhaps take a look into. But let's look into our next service in this video. But before that, use this time to subscribe to Ladio Business and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be able to be notified anytime we drop another interesting video like this. Now, the next one is actually CoinATMRadar.com, which is popularly known as ATMs. This is probably the easiest way to get involved and get started. Those who can obviously differ between machines, some of the machines do have a KYC. I do want to say that, but there are multitudes of these machines all across the world, which you can find on this website so let's say you're going to be living in spain and you want to look through or find where you can basically buy and here you can find different types of services across spain which are going to be allowing you to buy and sell different cryptocurrencies not all atms will allow you to sell some are just going to buy uh, but i think they are going to become more and more popular as time goes on so make sure to subscribe to ladder business so that you'll be getting more updates about it I personally used one in the past and I have to say it's a pretty smooth service but I do want to mention that it is not usually very uh they're not exactly the cheapest option. Once again, I do want to mention that but some people don't obviously care if you're going to buy big sums and some are obviously going to be having selected coins as well. So the Bitcoin ones are the most popular. Some will have Litecoin and Ethereum but there are a lot less of these items which are going to be having more smaller altcoins. And obviously, if you have options to buy something like Dash, that is going to be considerably cheaper compared to a lot of other options due to the nature of the transaction fees. But a very important website that basically looks into the ATMs. Most countries around the world have this option. 
Venezuela is a good example. For example, where crypto is really needed right now, and there are services they are allowing people to basically access different types of ATMs right now. Let's move where we have next up called crypto locally. This one is really great due to the fact that they offer perhaps the widest category of different cryptocurrencies supported here. They just added Bitcoin, which is probably the most bought cryptocurrency. Uh, but it can become a lot cheaper and faster to buy certain other currencies, and they have a lot of Ethereum token here. For instance, Tron, EOS, Binance coins, and a lot of good getaway uh, tokens, which have a lot of trading pairs available, and you can sell and buy on this platform. There is multitude of different payment options here: local bank cash transfer, uh, cash deposit, internal wire credit, debit card, gift card, WeChat Pay, a cash app, PayPal, PayPal, and many more. They have a multitude of different options here. Even the other crypto is available here, and everybody has different types of rating and on the actual platform. Or you can see how trusted the vendor is and what the positive transaction describes the volume, the trades, the user feedback, the report. It is a, it's a pretty good website, and I've been using them like this service for long. And I've used them, and I've also seen a couple of Reladian use the service. And I don't think that they have any complaints about it. So it's been a very smooth and pretty easy streamlined way to basically buy crypto right now number four we have another service like this called local monero which you can locate the website by going to localmonero.co as some new people watching this video don't know monero is a very privacy focused coin which allows a much more secure look into your data monero is a much more private option and people who don't necessarily want their government to know what is going on with their money monero is your way to go Obviously, it has its own fault lines and it's totally not private. But if, if you're going to be using a VPN, especially with Monero, it's going to be pretty secure. Oh, and you still, and this website obviously allows you to sell and buy. You can post ads also here, and I believe there's a BTC option as well. Only the local bot bitcoins, but that one actually does have a KYC these days. Didn't use to it, but this one also has a lot of different providers yes, who are selling and buying Monero. I think it's going to be growing in the future due to the fact that Monero is going to get more exposure by gaining by going through a lot of censorship and delisting process. But you can definitely see that there are people that are looking into, even on my local distance, to basically buy and sell Monero face to face. So that is pretty cool as well in my opinion. So this is another one I do really recommend for people who want the extra layer of uh, security now let's move into number five which is our very last option here which is called local cryptos which is another non-custodial crypto marketplace meaning that the platform doesn't hold your current crypto in the case of other platforms, the funds that are aired on the platform until you're going to be using them, buy or sell them or withdraw them obviously to your own wallet. Obviously, I think generally there's not really a history of a lot of problems, but obviously some people may fear that there might be an investigation or class action lawsuit against a certain service and they have to close them or be forced by the Fed or something like that. And that is indeed a legitimate claim and concern. But I don't think that there have been really many cases like that which have caused things like this to happen and local cryptos also have a good chunk of altcoins listed here such as ethereum let's go on and dash for those who don't want to just buy bitcoin and it's pretty easily streamlined and i think there are more beans and more uh, longer in this space i think the old space has been i mean the old platform has been around for some time now and there are many many different traders here on a local level let's see if we can choose anywhere and see how many people are actually buying and selling they seem to be quite different of amounts and it's important to also have a lot of regional options because bank transfers are going to be a lot cheaper when they're going to be done within that country. So there are a lot of these things like how to cut costs like the actual cost of every transfer and every transaction that are going to be doing from fiat into crypto or from a bank account to bank account even. So there is lots of exploration to be done and you have to find what is going to be the best suitable for you. Obviously. Tips I'm going to be giving out to you is that yes, some traders may really require you to do a KYC, and that will help you a lot to maybe get more opportunities and offers, and also always look into the ratings of people. If you have done a lot of trades, that is usually a very, very good sign. And thanks for watching. You can find all the links down below, and don't forget to subscribe to Ladio Business for more awesome videos like this.